side with all of us. If you stick around at 11 o'clock, we'll have Namas, Rosin, and Peter DeZoza.
To live this again. Take a chance. Keyboards tonight. <laughs> yeah. This is called the line. This feels really good. Oh, thank you. It's uh, inspired by Pinata Land, my heroes. Really, you like them? Wow. They, they do these you amazing, know fast you know what, actually, I'd actually like to take a second and thank Dave for for making this this marriage here. You know, because without Dave, we never would have played together. That's true. So. That's, that's CBGB's. That was the heart and tongue. The first heart and tongue festival. Let's give it up for Mr. David Wexler. David Wexler. Thanks, Dave. Okay, land. This song's for you, Dave. Well, okay. I searched for reason when there's none despite the feeling since that day she said goodbye. Still talking, I am certain she dismissed me since that night I made her cry. I placed the burden right here. Perhaps the tendency to always make things work is on my mind. I should be fine, but never, not forever. I made it worse, and so she draws the line. Is it so hopeless to believe the puppy road will open wide so smoothly paved? We search for answers daily, then we share our private torment asking to be saved. This was our time together, we took the fatal steps and it's like living hell before we die. I asked her why, but never, not forever. I need a strength, but here she draws the line. search of a possession to relieve my inner pain. I meet a streetwise merchant, he sells rocks and crystal stones suspended on a chain. He reads my tarot for me, this man knows nothing but the power of his gaze can't be denied. I say demand me nothing, half of nothing, my need is great but here I draw the line. I gave it a fine name How it differs from what people say When a human life is really at stake Think about the worlds we share We lived again, we moved around Think about the darkness that surrounds us Since then I have a feeling it's a hope that something there'll be more 
I have a feeling that I hope some of you will be more. I'm Jerry. And, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm... <laughs> I hear them are good movies. Dean and Jerry. Which are the favorite Dean and Jerry movies? Anybody have any? I hear the early ones are very good. <laughs> so we're trying to name our band. So far we're the Cannoli Kishkas, but no. Cannoli Kishkas. <laughs> yeah. Hat Boys. The what? Hat Boys. Boy, that's oh. Hat. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play one that I wrote by myself. If you haven't heard it yet, I wouldn't clap. Well, I know. <laughs> All right. This one's called Sweet Martha. <laughs> Martha's walking down the hill to see whether or not I'm ready for lunch yet. When she stumbles across an old coin, picks it up with the right hand, puts it down into the palm of her left. Looks down at the coin and up at the sky, wonders where she was in 1965. And a smile jumps to her face. up to the hill inside the house to get her car keys so she can get into her car and drive it. She waves at me when she goes past her tire screen and she goes so fast it's something to me I don't understand. And a smile comes to her face. Song. Boy, I like your song. 
I don't really like you, but I like your song. I sing your song, I sing your song. Boy, I like your song. I don't really like you, but I like your song. Popular, Mr. Peter DeZosa. Our heads ex 
exchanged the sounds and the pearl light of a stark white moon breathless she smiles moon you rising whisper deity wait behind the yellow sun in England, I believe. All the bars in England had to close at 3 o'clock or so. And, but this bar, because it was before the King's Edict, is able to stay open. It's underneath the street. It's under, uh, I need a quiet moment, so what I'm going to do is go underneath the ocean. And I'm calling everyone to join me. Calling everyone I know to meet me for a quiet moment. Calling everyone I know don't hate or leave me on my own. Where do I go when my life when the four winds blow me around That's when I stop I need a quiet moment Stop, feet on the ground Pardon me sir, but you look familiar Your features stir and astound Didn't you stop during the quiet moment? Stop, what have you so bright. Oh, well, for the gods are high, the one that's right. If I could only find you in the dead of night. Where do I go when the lights are low and the four winds blow me around? That's when I stop. I need a quiet moment. Stop. What have I found? There, Latch. It's the, the time when the hermits come out of the hermitage and they mingle with everybody. The hermitage, that's, that's in uh, France. Is that that's in Russia, I in think. Russia. Yeah. Where the owner lingers 
sitting on my neighbor's roof My girlfriend, she's sitting on my neighbor's roof She's up there drinking a Miller Lite with my slimy neighbor How she got up there, I don't know Conversation. I'm on the third floor and my landlord's roof is like the first, so he's got like an extension. Oh, he's got like a hole and extended in. Like hole. That's great. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh. Have you guys, have you guys seen, seen how Peter's dressed? Doesn't he look great? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I would buy three cars from him. This is from on credit. You know, I, I get all my clothing from the lighthouse. They have a sale every year. Yeah. Well, those of you who are dressed in those nice suits, you got them at the lighthouse too. But the, the next stop is the lighthouse, and I'll get them afterwards. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do a song about Ocean Baker.
formulas to go through life, and you know, all those Warner Brothers cartoons, they were basically formula cartoons, you know, the world is a chase. So, we have a public service announcement, you know, I got a letter from Dave, from Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston sent me a letter, he said, Dear fellow American, you and I have never met, we've never shared a sunset hunting or shooting, but I hope that won't stop us, you know, it's true, we really hadn't, but I hope that won't stop us from joining together to fight for our country's future. As a war veteran and grandfather hopelessly in love with my grandchildren in this country, I am stepping into battle once again. I am setting aside the precious free time that I have to save the Second Amendment. It is in grave danger. I urge you, challenge you to join me. Today, America's influentials, that's Mr. and Mrs. Influential to you, are waging a cultural war to purge the Second Amendment from society and erase the cultural heritage the founding fathers let us have. A right to keep and bear arms. Bear arms. Let's do it, Jerome. We're bearing our arms now. Our right to bear arms is, is under a serious threat here. Yeah. It's, Mr. it's Mr. and Mrs. Influential. Yes. They would normally have their 2.5 children, right? See, they've got guns, they've got like 1.75, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, you with me? This crusade, yeah, they have... Well, they are actually... Uh, the crusade being long overdue, it is important that gun owners like you and I... Oh, I've met gun owners like you in airports and campaigns and all over America. And every one of our hearts beats a common dream. A dream that someday, when our grandchildren delight at the heft of a fine shotgun or sleep secure in the armed safety of their homes, they'll realize what we did for them. Yours in freedom, Charlton Heston. <laughs> We'll be taking up a collection a little later on, okay? Armed safety, like military intelligence, right? Same thing. Oh, I know this one. Oh, this is one. Yeah, like that. Keep doing that, that's good. This one's a waltz. This is a lady's choice.
But then our house in New England with the snow and the cold would be filled with 18 boys. This is a song called Witch Finders. Oh wow! Died to speak my I love the witches. Yeah, this is the Charlton Heston song about the American family. Doctors be blind, couldn't see what Kabbalists did for me. Witches turned my life around, and I love them. Raised me from a newborn child. They do you a while. Witches turned my life around, and I love them still. Always will love them, and I need them in my life until I fulfill through them. I pursue them, living through them. They save me and slay me, save from being free.
and I think they only have one song left. Yeah, so, everything. <laughs> before they do that song, I would just like to tell you that I'm going to come around and pass the tip jar. This is how we pay our act, so please open your hearts and open your wallets. I don't know where that money goes. It goes right Charles to your pockets. Oh, yes, do I say? It goes to Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Should you tell the Charlton Heston story again? Yeah. Well, that'll get it. Charlton Heston is ultimately asking for money, and I did get a card. It's really nice. That cost me. But it's because my name I, I resembles some Dimitrioff or something. It's like Peter Dimitrioff, and he, he used to work there. So Charlton really wasn't writing to me at all, even though it was indeed the case that we had never met. He was right on the money there. So this is like we're we're in the living room and we're drinking cognac and there's two idiots playing the piano. So. That's, you know, we're reading music, so that's kind of amazing. Hi, Peter. Hi, Jerome. Hi, <laughs> you're fine. and emerald rings If you want your man to come through Give him the ooh-la-la -la. When your car is asked to stop Buy a handsome traffic cap Unless you want a ticket or two Give him the ooh-la-la -la. Poor Napoleon and water ooh-la-la And raised an army of deputies To give the British this well-known He'd have changed the history of France. France? Like my favorite Romeo. Grass his hat and starts to go. Don't reveal the fact you are blue. Don't break down and start to blue. There's but one thing for you, la la. Do la la. Do la la. Dance a hula and give him the ooh la la. La la. La la. la, la. The ooh la la. Raise an army of debutants to give the British the well-known ooh-la-la. He'd have changed the history of France yes. when your favorite Romeo grabs his butt and stops. Don't bow down and start to boo-hoo. There's but one thing for you, la-la. To la-la. To la-la. Dance a hula and give him the ooh la 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 the ooh la la ooh la la the ooh la la 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 ooh la la
Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Drive home safe. I'm having a patriotic show at the end. Thank you, everyone. Well, you're fine. So, what would you like to say to the camera and say to all your New York friends, right, the day before you're leaving, or two days before you're leaving? I'll be back. Okay, so much. Where else? Peter, can anything come to mind? Can we get anything to Peter? Hey, Peter, hey, Peter. When was the last time we saw you? It was a year ago, I think. Could have been a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> I took a free love party that you were having on Broadway. I had a free love party on Broadway. You know, I had a rehearsal on Broadway, but he's calling a free love. That was our, our serious first rehearsal for Prepare to Meet Your Maker. You were pretty name? instrumental. I've told people about that. What's the name of that university? The University of Free Love. Oh, that university, you know, I'm taking a sex and intimacy course. And people have come up to me, they say, hey, you're from Moore University. More. 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 <laughs> less, less is more. You're so stuck on that, though. It's I am. Funny. I am. I love that. I love that. Like, I've I, never been to Moore University. I want to go. Well, it's in Staten Island. No, it's in Yonkers. Less is more. Has anybody gotten the uh, photographer on film tonight? I don't think so. No. Well, we need to do that. Let's do a reversal here. There's some nice light on the yeah, photographer. Yeah. This is Steady Cam here. Oh, my name is John. Wait, is that Kate? Yes, it's me. Behind the camera. Call it my dear friend and this friend. I feel Look like up. warm and connected with you. When you're back in town, I feel oh, thank you. warm and connected. And you're, and you're, you're bathed in life. I know. And, and, and but we have email addresses now. So no. Oh, oh, I don't have your email address. Well, I'm going to give you mine when oh, I call you. Oh, good. Oh, good. You can follow me. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, Well, listen, we got 80 acres in the mountains, and you come up there and you like sit. And you're like, oh, we have a piano. Okay, I'm there. You know this guy? Is? Hey, hey, how's it going? Jim, this is Bruce. This is your friend of mine. Hey, Bruce. Nice to see you. I'm Jim. Nice to see you. Hi, Bruce. All right. Come here. Oh, I think we're getting in the way. I know. Thank you, Annie. You're welcome. It's lovely. Hey, Peter. All the love in the world. Congratulations on your child, Jim. Thank you. Yeah. Sure, it, it tells me everything. Okay, we'll get this outside. Thanks, Jim. And the band is getting ready. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Oh, wait, no, should I should do an interview for me? Um, yes, we're doing an interview. Here we have Peter Dezosa walking away from the camera. And, um, and, and so now he's in total darkness. And wait, wait, I'm starting to see light. So there is light. What are we doing? What are we doing? It's again dark. Oh, yes, yeah, so we're focusing on, on this show, Jerome Rossett and Peter Dezosa. They performed at 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock tonight. And we are sitting here with Peter DeZoza. We don't have Jerome. I don't know what happened to him. Do you want to talk a little bit about your show tonight? Yeah, we did a variety of uh, great original numbers and some cover songs that I think are rather beautiful. Tonight, uh, Jerome uh, had a uh, great song about Martha. And, uh, of course, he played his hit New England and the uh, song My Grandpa. Uh, I played, uh, we, we also did the cover songs, since it's this time of the year, Solstice uh, is coming. The, is it the equinox? The, the vernal equinox. Can autumn be far away? And we did a song about autumn in New York. So that was a the theme of your show? Yeah. Autumn, the and changing then, of seasons? Yeah, we did a moon song for the full moon. I, I performed White Moon. And uh, played accordion. We did keyboards, but we use natural keyboards. More and more people are turning to the digital, and the, you know, the, the sounds that are generated through computers. 
Jerome wrote a very uh, simple C accordion that he played, and I played the piano, and then Jerome played the piano, and I don't know how to play the accordion, so he didn't know how to play the accordion. Anyway, that was, a lot of people came, and uh, friends from, uh, my, my old friend John Manoli was here, it was good to see him, he was out with Nadine, and those, uh, she brought a lot of people too, and then Jim came and he brought a lot of people, that was good because I think that was our main audience, so they had a few friends from the sidewalk, I saw Latch come in, and uh, who else, we see Tom Warnick, John, Jonathan Berger was there. Well, so are you and Jerome going to play a lot together? You seem to be quite a dynamic duo here. Yes, yeah, so we're a dynamic duo. I hope we can play uh, on Saturday when he comes to the variety show, the Romantic Enlightenment show that we're doing in the Forest Hills Community House in the gardens. And Faith will be there. It'll be very lovely to have you there, Faith. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, I had a dream about it being a very easygoing show, and that's what I'm looking forward to. And there were moments tonight I felt very easygoing actually performing. I hope the audience felt that too. <laughs> but we're going back into the state of, oh uh, my god, and still. still uh, so you've been performing in the sidewalk a lot. It, 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 do you feel, find that you're progressing in your. In your um, in your show, you mean you're saying now you're feeling easygoing. Is this a change for you? Is it is something that's evolved from performing at the sidewalk? Yeah, I feel it's happened quickly too because I have uh, I've been sensitive about performing uh, and more and more I'm I enjoying singing and I don't feel any strain. You know, it's not as if I, I sound worse after I've sung for a while. It doesn't seem to do much. Uh, and I, I, you know, that concern about the sound, I know the initial feeling is. God, that's the worst sound of all time, but I, I keep doing it and... Uh, what do you sing for? It gives pleasure. I love singing. Uh, it's the purpose of writing, almost. You know, you have material to perform because you'll you enjoy singing. So what would you label yourself as? Are you a, a writer and I'm an a entertainer. I label myself an entertainer. My writing has, uh, you know, its own vision, I think. There's a consistent vision in the, the novels, the stories, the pictures, the, uh, the songs. Uh, and that's that's come together rather nicely. You know, one supports the other. I get a song about the hermits, and I've been fascinated by them for a while. My new song tonight was the hermit song. For, uh, for them, a lot of this coming out of the cave. Uh, I don't know, a lot of uh, words that we've heard through... Uh, hey, good night. Thanks, Jim. Hey, a lot of uh, <laughs> our Landmark Education experience. Hey, Jim, didn't we meet at Landmark Education? I think so. Yeah. Well, this is a great reunion because uh, Jim has been in Tennessee. You know, this is New York. It's just not close to Tennessee. It's not Tennessee. It's definitely not Tennessee. <laughs> you, don't you, get, you don't get this in New York, that's for sure. I mean, where in... Uh, really? There's no type of places that people perform in um, Tennessee? Yeah, we have country music, of course. It's all country? Yeah. There's We're, no there's no variety? Hans Brooks came to New York and ruled. Just kidding. <laughs> he did. He did. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Is Garth Brooks from Tennessee? Yeah, he is. We had Elvis. And that's about it. Other than that, that's about it. You were saying you're not at all close to Elvis. Everybody's just town. Well, in Tennessee, everybody's, yeah. Yeah. Are you from Tennessee too? I'm from Pittsburgh. Two tickets to Pittsburgh. Two tickets to Pittsburgh. What is the nearest city in uh, Tennessee that you are? We have like a Philly cheesesteak and that's about it. Oh, okay. We have the sandwich and that's about it. I, I don't know much about Kentucky. My friend's from Jackson, Mississippi. Are you near there, Jim? We love you, Peter. I've been there. I've been there. I've been yeah. drunk there once. I've been in jail once. <laughs> really? Because yeah. a lot of great musicians came from there. Yep. Uh, our friend Kenny Noel, that's what I'm always playing. Faith, we're gone, baby. Bye. <laughs> so, Peter, is there anything else you'd like to say about your career development, or where you're, where you're taking it, or what, what you're, what's your goal? Why don't you give me a two-year goal with your career? Are you still be playing at the sidewalk? Yeah, I love the sidewalk, and I will be playing many places, uh, and I will continue to become comfortable in my playing. I, my piano playing will improve, my singing, uh, my ability to do a wide variety of songs. Uh, Probably always referring to some notes because the memory is still pretty. Uh, it doesn't retain that much. I can retain about five 
songs or I can retain about five things in my mind at any one time. So the performance is heavily dependent on notes. However, the, uh, the ease with which I can go and the, the eclecticism will uh, continue and there'll be a, a flow, you know, a through line through uh, a style of performance that I hope uh, you're seeing developing tonight. Uh, because this is better than it's ever been for what it's worth. Uh, it's been a tremendous uh, improvement from just last year. And at the age of 39, uh, I guess I've been doing this uh, you know, since I was six, and the improvement has been drastically intense over the last year. So yeah, in two years, it'll be, you know, it's gonna be worldwide. It's gonna be an enterprise, and I'm part of it. So do you think that the advancement this year has something to do with the forum? I, it's it's part of the forum because what was happening started before I went to the forum. I, you know, it started January of '96, uh, and it's, it's just a question of getting at it. Really, it doesn't matter whether you feel good or bad about yourself. In fact, no matter how the worst, I, it doesn't matter how good or bad I feel about myself. Uh, it still, you know, will happen. It will happen stronger than ever each each day. I, I feel the strength of it growing inside of me and uh, in, the, in the future, you know, continue to multiply and I hope to, to share, you know, and this is to be shared with everybody and I, I you know, I welcome everyone uh, with, with the, with, you know, the direction that, uh, that I'm going in. I, I feel confident beyond my uh, state of being and beyond my, my identity, I feel confident of uh, what I have to offer in the world. And I hope it's, uh, you know, it's something that we can uh, we can all enjoy. As far as me, I, I want to enjoy it too. So we we'll just, uh, you know, just keep going, just getting better and better. You know, in two years, it's going to be, uh, you know, a thousand times what it is today. But you know, at the rate I've been going, I've been multiplying in, uh, you know, half a fraction. So, but the multiplication continues, and I, I really feel the uh, the snowball. Uh, you know, can grow very fast in a short amount of time. We'll notice it. So, thanks, Faith. That's the story. Is there anything else you'd like to say for the camera? Oh, uh, I just that I love you and uh, that I'm very uh, thankful for asking me these questions this way. And, you know, that we can well, we could talk more about this and other things for your career development and your fantastic gift and that you have for the world that, that continues to expand. Uh, and that, you know, whatever you think of yourself, that, that gift keeps getting pushed forward because that's, a, that's the most important thing. Beyond you, it will always supplement, it will always satisfy and bring you joy. But aside from that, it's there for the world. And, you know, whatever your state of being and mind set, you know, your, your life keeps going in that, in that direction. You know, I want you to... I want you to go forward with that like it's a force beyond you or beyond the uh, identity and personality because it's, it's, it's that important for one thing and it, it will supplement that in your, your, your state of being will, some, something else will happen. You won't have to consider your state of being the way you've been considering it recently. It's, it's separate from the, the gifts and the, the joy that you can bring to the world. Thank you, Faith. I love you. Hey, but Andrew. Yes, uh, Peter De Souza, I believe. Oh, I'd like to say that Peter De Souza is one of the most creative people in New York. And he's very unselfish and he shares his talent and he brings out the best in people. I know he brings out the best in me and I've seen him bring out the best in other people. Thanks, Andrew. Once again, all these women bringing out the best in you again. Yes. Now they all come together and yes, put together they all come together. Posters. And as my father said, <laughs> Are you if, if all you else fails, as I'm not you, Peter, if all else fails, as my father would say, wear a funny hair. Okay. If all else fails. Yes. And, uh, well, we've, we've, I, we've opened up for Andrew, for Andrew a couple of times now. It's yes. a pleasure uh, to see you. Yes, it's very nice for you to open up for me. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you set it up for me to go on there. <laughs> this night was a challenge. <laughs> well, the I know. It was a bit of a challenge the today. You know, you had thoughts. You know, you had help. You had help there. And I, I don't know how much you paid those guys to talk all the way through my set, but. <laughs> You know, let it, me was say that. it was difficult. There was a friend in from out of town for a couple of well, days that we never yeah, see. Oh, apologies, apologies. And it was rude, and I'm sorry. However, it was a good test for me, but I've had enough of good tests. I thought you, you had know. a great set. I, I, I want really an easy life it. from now on, you know. I mean, I'm working three days a week in an elementary school with little kids, trying it out on me all the time. And I come here and I have the same thing. And it's like, you know, I, I'm going to have to start cracking the whip. Uh, will, will that? When's the next act? Oh, the lights good. Andrew? 
you know, it's my best side. It's my best side right now. Effect, my best side right here. When's the next? Uh, when's the next? Oh, uh, the next performance of the uh, Andrew McCann uh, extravaganza. <laughs> Am I we'll be here. After tonight's performance, we may never know, <laughs> because uh, who's the young lady who's been running it tonight? Oh, Miss Miss Annie Husiak. Annie Husiak from the Band of Susans, I believe. Oh. Yeah. She was used to be in a band called the Band of Susans. A very. She's been in the Illuminoids. The yeah, Illuminoids. They were a yeah, band to uh, die for. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd cry for. Cool, Lenny right. Molotov. You've seen them on online TV, I believe. So she was doing a very uh, good job. I think she was uh, being a bit strict with the time tonight, you know, and uh, not, not being as loose as Lenny used to be. But anyway, uh, do I have to sign a waiver so that, that you're not going to use this in a cable television I think show? we were getting kind of carried away here just talking. I think we're going to, I mean, let's I, watch. I can see online TV on your heart. Well, what do you think that? of online TV? Online TV, I think online TV. It, online TV. Uh, uh, speaking it, of... It, I'm speaking as someone that doesn't have a television set. I can beyond TV. Without fear of contravention or, or, uh, or confirmation. Well, why might I just step in? Without any that? fear of contraception, I can say that patience is a virgin. And as far as the online TV is concerned, I don't believe that television should be online. It should be, it should be offline. Offline. And having said that, <laughs> We ask you all to stay online because this is a chance for you to kill two, three, four hours, eight hours, ten hours. We have a very special guest just in at this time, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Jonathan Berger from the Anti Matters magazine, fame editor, impresario, and uh, he inspired me to have my haircut. Journalist. Oh, was that your responsibility? Journalist, editor. He's a man of few words in life, but he can certainly write them down and print ahead, them up John, and get about that. that. I don't lose the rights to my face by being filmed here, do I? <laughs> we're not doing a lot. Well, I don't know what we're going to do with this. <laughs> because I like my face and I like to... to Which I like to sell your face. Oh my god, you've stolen my face! <laughs> no! superstition when photography was first invented was that people were actually losing their <laughs> souls to the photograph. Years later, I think it was maybe two, <laughs> they, they found that they died and they went to heaven and they came back and told everybody else that it wasn't a big deal. So going back to my screen. Oh! Ah! Ah! Thank you. Thank you. Jonathan Berger has been producing collector's items monthly. We urge you all to look for them. They're called Antimatters. A yes. monthly fanzine. Oh, yeah. Austin, uh, ostensibly a fanzine. But in reality, simply collector's items of the time. Cartoons. Like East Village. Classic the cartoons. Late classic classic yeah. cartoons. And, you know, it's like contributors from all around the world. Yes. Andrew, where are you from? Would John, would you like to add anything to our video tape here? You should buy it. One dollar. I don't have any copies. Oh, yeah, where can we buy, buy it? it? Me. A constant promoter, always ready. Should there be anybody interested? Well, would you like to give Karen us your phone number? Lord. Huh? Would you like to give us your Lord. phone number? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> what the hell do you think I am? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, say This is Karen Leather Lord. Uh, she's my attorney. <laughs> and anything you may say may be taken down and used against you. Absolutely. Jonathan, how's I am well protected <laughs> from this moment in point. The time, that is. I'm just throwing these things together. And uh, Karen has studied in England at London University to be proficient enough to represent me in court when you put this online on cable television. What channel will it be on? It's onlinetv.com, but I'm not sure we can Onlinetv.com? It's on the internet. Oh, internet. Oh, you mean I I'm going to be on the internet? Oh, all right then. Uh, what's your email? What's your address? Online, online TV online dot com. Com. But I'm not sure we're using because we got kind of carried away in this interview talking yeah, about well, real you can personal do some things. You can do that, yeah. so we trans, might have to trans, come here. Trans, come here. Trans, come over here to them. They will come. <laughs> this is Bill. Bill is uh, an artist extraordinaire. I, Bill is Mr. Gospel. What kind of work do you do, Bill? 
I can't hear you. Carpentry. He's Jesus. Can I see? He's a carpenter. He's a shreds. He's in a shreds. That's why they call him shreds. Oh, that's good. And these are passerby. Right. Well, I might be doing this. Peter, are you going to do a plug for online TV? We're talking about online TV rules. Online TV rules for kids who might be on the internet, like me. How old am I? If you spend a lot of time on the internet, check out online TV. Bookmark it, and you'll see a lot of great bands from the sidewalk. Come on, a little more um to this online TV. Um. Online TV. Yeah. Boy, boo.